Now we're going to assess transverse abdominis. Now before we even use the machine, let's ask the client what they understand by a transverse abdominis co uh, contraction. All right, so Alex, what I'd like you to do is you know I've taught you about your inner core. Okay, I'd like you to show us what you do when you're doing your transverse abdominis contraction or your core stability work. What does that mean to you? And what I'm watching there is what they have an understanding. Now Alex is actually doing that quite well, but most people, show us what most people do is suck right in. Okay, they're, over, they're bracing with their external obliques, internal obliques and rectus. So, but Alex has got a good understanding of that. All right, thank you. Now, we'll look at the machine and see what actually is happening. So, looking at where we're going to assess, now we're going to, again, a lot of gel, a lot of gel. Don't be scared of putting too much on. Okay, now, positioning, I'm checking on the screen where I am so that the client can understand that. I'm looking for my dot. All right. Now, in the best place that we've found to be most reliable looking at where transverse abdominis and repeating a contraction is between the iliac crest here and between the bottom of the ribs here. So it's good to come in on the side here and to come across. All right. So again, here, right in that groove there, and then coming into that position here. All right. Now, next thing is adjusting our machine. I might switch to this side, however, because I don't want to be standing too far over Alex. So, coming to the machine, let's see what image we've got there. Again, adjusting our depth. Adjusting our focus position. We want our focus position at the bottom of the image. And the first thing I want you to do is just observe what happens and the client can see. So Alex, what I want you to do is just take quite a big breath in and breathing out. Okay, now what we want to look for with our assessment is, and I'll show you with the pen here, what we've got here is on the top, our external oblique then our internal oblique, our transverse abdominis, and we're particularly interested on the transverse abdominis, what its fascial slide is through here. Now, I'm going to get Alex to do this the wrong way. So Alex, I'd like you to do what you did before, not too quickly, just contract, pulling your tummy in, that's it. And that's what most people do, is they brace all those three muscles together and relaxing again. All right, and that, as you know, we don't want that. As you know, we know when people have back pain, we see the top muscles brace first and some sleepiness or laziness in the transverse abdominis. So what we want to do this time is see if we can get Alex to isolate the transverse abdominis. And you'll just get a little slide when you watch the screen there. So this time, now we haven't brought in pelvic floor instruction yet. We're just simply looking at transverse abdominis for the moment. So what I'd like you to do, Alex, is take a breath in, breathing out, and to a count of five, we just want a small slide of TA. So that's it, and maintaining that. And I've got my hands on him, checking that he's not using external, internal oblique, and we've still got a bit of excessive contraction there, and he's still bracing a little bit. Relax again. And you probably need to do this four or five times. You'd want to compare the right side with the left, but so that you're clear on what we're looking at again. Okay, external, internal, and we're looking for the fascial slide here. You just want a small fascial slide. You don't want to quickly flick that, so just do it the wrong way again, Alex, so we can see the comparison. Okay, so that's bunching them all together. Relax again. Okay, breathing in, breathing out, and a very slow, that's it, small slide, a little bit more. Okay, and then now what you want to see is can they still breathe, which Alex is doing well, while they've got that contraction. What you'll often see is that fatigue and this will drop back again and let go. So you'd start with 
one contraction, build it up to five contractions. Your goal is to attempt to be able to do ten contractions and holding for a count of ten to retrain this muscle, but this can take weeks or sometimes even longer. Now, we want to now go back to the client and take away the machine and see what their understanding of this is without using this feedback. What we want to do now is see how Alex is going to practice this without obviously using the machine at home. So Alex, what I want you to do is use that information you've learned from your assessment, breathing in, breathing out, okay, and just maintaining and holding for five to 10 seconds. Now that might be just their starting point for a week or two, but your goal is to make that as functional as possible. So what you want to do is progress it as soon as they're able to, relaxing again, breathing in, breathing out, okay. And I want you to drop one knee out, then come back up again, breathe in, breathe out, dropping the other knee out. Okay, next one, breathing in, breathing out, sliding the right leg out, come back up again, breathing in, breathing out, back out again, great, and bring the arms in the air, shoulder blades, so I'm making, the, turning, helping him turn that into a functional pattern, so breathe in, breathe out, engage, opposite arm and leg, come back up again, breathe in, breathe out, lovely, come back up again, all right, and it's important that he practices that when he's sitting, you'd progress to sitting, then you'd progress to standing. And so that completes our assessment of transverse abdominis. We're now going to look at assessment of pelvic floor.